Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm very blank, very pale, because I'm going to be doing a palette roulette with one of my newer and one of my favorite palettes. This is the Circle Local Palette from Natasha Denona. Now, fun fact, this is the second time I'm filming this video because I'm kind of an idiot. <laughs> Long story short, um, I like to do most of my editing first thing in the morning when I wake up. Typically I do like, you know, an hour-ish before I, you know, have to get ready for work in the morning or even on the weekends. Like today I slept in, but the first hour I did after I woke up, I did some editing for my YouTube channel. I guess I looked at the raw files for this video and I thought I had already published it for some reason. It did, I didn't, but I deleted everything. I deleted the audio files, deleted the backups, I deleted everything. And so I have to refilm this. This is going to be my second time doing this. And I'm a little upset because I really liked how that first eye look came out. But I think we're going to have, you know, it's just another opportunity to have more fun and get creative. So. So I'm going to pick four random shades to use to create just a whole complete look. And I'm going to use a random number generator on my phone to pick those four shades. And then we're going to talk through as I kind of figure out what I'm going to be doing. I did post um, a review. I did a review roundup where I included the Circle Local. I'll have that up in the cards if you missed it. But I really like it. It's an expensive palette, but I think it's honestly the most unique Natasha Denona palette that has ever come out. And I do think that if you like Natasha Denona palettes, or if you're interested in purchasing one, I think this is the one to get out of the rest of them. And I do have a lot of Natasha Denona palettes. I actually need to redo my ranking video because since I posted that ranking video of all my Natasha palettes, I've gotten a few more. So I need to redo that. So that will be coming at some point in the future. Um, but I really do like the palette. So let me get my random number generator up and we will pick our four shades. In the palette itself, I'm just gonna start from my left and go over one through five and then so on and so forth. I've got the random number generator from Google up here between one and 15. So let's pick our first shade is shade number 12, which is this purple right here. I actually got that shade the last time I did this. <laughs> so this is the purple shade magic. And as we go, I'm going to swatch the shades on my hand so that we know we're working with. Okay, so after 12, our next shade is going to be shade 15, which is the shade Joker. It does a nice bright pink shade. Okay. Pretty, pretty, okay, very pink, very purple. And our next shade is shade number five. So shade number five is the shade Cotton Candy, so the light pink shade. Okay, we've got a color story going on here. Let's see. And these all have been matte, so I'm actually really hoping that our last shade is going to be uh, a shimmer. Because we have three mattes right here. That looks really pretty. Look at that color story. So let's cross our fingers and hope for a shimmer. Boop, boop, boop. And we got shade number one, which is not a shimmer. Ooh, we got um, orange. <laughs> okay, I kind of thought I knew I was going here, but uh, now I really don't. Hmm. So those are our shades. <laughs> huh. I think I'm going to do what I think I would look good because these three shades, and they're all matte. I kind of really, so we're gonna have an all matte look today. So I'm thinking the pinks and the purples, I'm gonna do like a kind of blend out shade um, look on the lid. And then I think I'm gonna do the orange and the lower lash line. Because like, if I had different like finishes, I think I could have blended them a little bit more, but they're all matte. <laughs> So I am struggling a bit because also I, I'm not really a huge fan of all matte looks. So we're going to see how this works. Okay, so I'm going to start with the light pink shade Cotton Candy and just use that as my transition on the lid. And I'll probably take this all the way up to my brow bone, to be honest, because I know this is just going to be a dramatic look no matter what I do. <laughs> All right, and since this is an all matte look, um, I'm gonna also just take the light pink shade on my finger and just tap it onto the lid to cover up uh, the rest of my primer there, since we're not gonna have a shimmer shade for the lid. Okay, so now I'm gonna go with that medium pink, the shade Joker, and let's use the same, the same brush, because I'm also gonna bring this up into like my crease area and blend that out. It is a very pretty color. And I'm not gonna worry too much about like out here cause I'm not wearing face makeup today cause I'm actually about to go get my second dose of my COVID vaccine, yay. Um, <laughs> so I'm not wearing face makeup. I'm just gonna be wearing a mask all day either um, to get my shot or I think we're gonna take Rex for the dog park too. So that's all we're doing, I'm gonna take it easy. Um, so I'm just gonna use a makeup wipe when I'm done and just kind of clean up that edge. So those pinks look very pretty. Now I'm gonna take a smaller 
fluffy brush. This is from MAC. This is a 217. And I'm going to go in with that, the purple, the shade Magic. And I'm going to try and use this lightly to like just deepen up right out here. All right, so that took away some of the pink up here. So I'm just going to go in with my first brush with no extra product and just kind of blend. Though I'm probably going to go back in with the pink in a little bit. Okay, so I definitely like the way that this side came out better. I used a lot less product and just kind of really packed it in here and just barely blended it out. But I think it works well with the pink shades as opposed to this side where it kind of went a little, a little too much of the purple. So I'm going to go back in and just with that deep pink shade and just kind of blend in the purple a little bit more. I think it looks better. And then when I wipe this up, all the other muddiness will go away just so that we have a nice kind of like line there. I think that looks good. So speaking of makeup wipe, let's just try to make these even because I have this really bad habit of uh, like doing the wipe and like they're totally uneven. They look uneven. So let us do our very best. It looks a lot better, though I did kind of mess up a little bit, but it looks good. Okay. Let's get you to match. Clean up down here. Then. Okay, okay, good, good. All right, now for the lower lash line, I'm gonna take the orange shade, the shade Firework, and I'm gonna take it on a flat liner brush first and just kind of pack it on the lower lash line. Like so, and then I'm gonna take a little fluffy brush and blend. So that orange is looking cute on my lower lash line. I kind of want to take the orange and like mix it in with like the purple on the outer corner and see how that looks. I have no idea if it's going to look good or not, but I kind of want to try it. So I think that did a good job of like mellowing out the purple because I do know they're opposites on the color chart, right? And I do think it blends in better if the pinks. If, if you look really close, I think it looks a little muddy, but like from back here, I think it looks really nice. So I think, oh, I wish I had an orange liner for my waterline. That would look really good here. But I think I'm going to just do a really thin black liner and then mascara, and then we'll be back for the final look. Okay, so it's all done. I honestly think it really pulled together with like the liner and the mascara. So I didn't have an orange liner. I really wish I did because I think an orange liner would have looked awesome here. But I did have this yellow liner from NYX that I used in my lower waterline. And then I just used a Shop Missé um, felt tip liner just to do a really thin black line on the top. And then uh, lashes, I didn't, I didn't lashes. I think this look would probably look good with lashes, but I just used the Essence Lash Princess Mascara and it really came together. I think it looks really nice. I have to say, I'm surprised I got an all matte look out of this palette because I love the shimmers in here and it's mostly shimmers. So I'm very surprised that I managed to get like not one shimmer. If I were to do this look like again on my own, I don't know, I think the shimmers in here might be a little too dark, though instead of maybe the matte orange, I probably would have used the shimmer orange on my lower lash line to make it really like pop out as like the statement color. Um, and then on my lid, I don't, they don't have a light pink kind of shimmer in here, but I think that would be like really pretty to like do on the lid and really tie everything together. But overall, I'm surprised <laughs> with how like well this came out, especially as someone who really doesn't like all matte looks in general and who was really intimidated about getting like a really nice like pink and purple color story and then orange <laughs> out of nowhere. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked this look. And if you have the Circle Loco palette, let me know what kind of looks you've been more drawn to. And actually, if you've kept the palette kind of the way it is, because I mentioned before, I didn't want to rearrange the palette, but I kind of want to rearrange the palette now. And I'm, de I'm debating it because I know this would actually be one of the few palettes where it would be easy to put it back to the way it was by looking at a picture because every shade is so different. So I wouldn't have to like label the bottom of the pants or anything, but I'm, I'm kind of thinking about that. So we'll see. Also, let me know if there are any other video ideas or looks you want me to do with the palette because I've just been having so much fun playing with it. Thank you guys for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.